and you know if we don't understand the problem then how can we actually apply the correct solution and we see this you know we see whether it's to do with petitions or whether it's to do with boycotting you know when we see the issues in palestine and we see people going to the british government and and, and uh, petitioning them to to help something there's obviously a, a, a big problem in understanding here because these are the people who actually started off the problem and they're facilitating this are they going to help you so all this energy we waste in doing these things and also brothers and sisters the issues to do with charities you know the the issue to the charities right now subhanallah is is no different than your your hand being chopped off and somebody applying a small plaster onto your arm and thinking that this is going to resolve the issue subhanallah brothers and sisters this is something which you know look how many people are involved in charities yet you know we all have to agree that subhanallah after so many decades of millions and millions of pounds being sent the situation has not improved for the muslims in fact it's probably become worse and you know subhanallah the reality is brothers and sisters we want to help our sisters in syria and brothers in iraq and these places we want to we want to send them food we want to send them clothes obviously because we have this natural connection with the ummah you know we i can understand that but the issue here is that when muslims do these actions when they contribute and they give charity is as if they feel like they've done their bit and this is a big problem and subhanallah a lot of these people that do these charities when you speak to them they will even say to you that we know it's not the solution but the thing is and what i find baffling if they admit if they agree that this is not the solution then why is it that we don't hear them talk about the real solution why is it that we don't see them working for the real solution so okay you know someone can say they, they want to help the ummah okay they want to do this for the ummah and they admit themselves that this is not the solution then the reality is brothers and sisters who is going to be working for the real solution then why are they not making us aware why is it that many muslims out there they give charity sadaqa zakat whatever it is and they feel like they've done their bit and subhanallah brothers and sisters this is a big problem because you know the reality is is that if we if the muslims are not aware about what to do then yeah they feel like the one body but they but how they approach the problem is not going to be in the correct way you understand and in reality you know if we for example if you if you were walking and and there was a stream and you saw a, a body you saw somebody drowning and you picked them up and you saved them and then you saw another person and you saw another person and you kept taking them out of the water but then you looked and near the top you saw there was somebody throwing them in the water now what are you going to do are you going to continue picking the people out of the water or are you going to actually go and stop that person who's throwing them there's a possible it's a possibility that by, by the time you get there a few people may drown okay you may say i'm going to do this but i'm actually going to generate awareness in the other muslims that look the real problem is there the real problem is that guy throwing these people in the water go and sort that problem out but subhanallah you know these organizations you see they don't even do this in fact you know it's like as if they we, we're so embroiled in taking these people out the water that you know we don't even want to go and stop and go to the root of the problem and you know and then on top of that subhanallah we even have people who in the community we might say are imams and we might say are scholars you know but instead of them them telling us about what the real solution for palestine is the real solution for al aqsa in fact they go on sponsored tours of the of of uh, al quds paid by the zionists are these people going to be telling us what the solution is are these going to, are these are the people that are going to be telling us on how to react brothers and sisters that's not the case so that's why the onus is on us and what is it what is it we can do before going into anything else brothers and sisters the first thing we should do is we should actually take time out and diagnose the problem and from there we will inshallah ta'ala lead to what is the solution